Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series and whole channel has been such an amazing experience for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So today's question, we're gonna be talking about per square foot price and all that good stuff, similar to our question yesterday. So let's take a look. All right, so the question says, a lot in a subdivision is being sold for $8 per square foot. It is 200 feet wide and 400 feet deep. How much does the lot cost? And it gives us four options. A, 60K, B, 120K, C, 640K, or D, 920K. So like usual, like always, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to pause here, bust it out, do that math, figure out your answer, uh, and then we'll talk about it soon after. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came with your answer on this one. If you need more time, feel free to pause, no biggie. So this one, for those of you guys who watched the one yesterday, is very similar. It's almost exactly the same problem, except with different numbers. So our answer for this one is going to be C, $640,000 or 640K. So how did we get that? What did we do? Well, if you guys remember from yesterday, again, we're doing two steps. We have two steps in these problems. The first step is to find the total square footage. What do we need for that? Well, we need to look at this number here, this 200 feet wide, and this number here, this 400 feet deep. And then from there, all we're gonna do is multiply them. So again, we're taking 200 and we're multiplying that by 400 which is going to give us 80,000 and that is square feet. So again, um, we're taking the feet wide, the feet deep, and we're finding the total square footage. So again, this is, uh, what did I say? It's uh, 80,000 feet squared, uh, so square feet. So that's what we do with that. And then after there, um, all we have to do is take a look at this, this right here, this $8 per square foot, and we have to multiply. So we take that 80,000 and we multiply that by $8. And that is going to give us this big number right here, this $640,000 or 640K. And again, that is going to be our cost of the lot, the total cost of the lot. So hopefully you guys get it by now. Again, we did a same similar problem yesterday. Uh, it, was, it was almost the same and just with different numbers. But again, hopefully you should be understanding this concept, this method, the steps and all that good stuff. Tomorrow, we're going to be checking a different form of this problem. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it is going to be different. So hopefully you guys come prepared. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I really appreciate you guys spending time with me. Uh, you guys are the best. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. As always, this is Zach from Real Estate License Wizard. Make today magical.